I've set foot on the moon, it's time to explore the sun. Oh, huh? You're planning to visit the sun? Mm. <laughs> That's super dangerous. Huh? Did you know why um. nobody could set foot on the sun? Mm. Let knowledge clear. The sun is a giant star made of hot gases. The sun's surface temperature is over 5,500 degrees Celsius. That's hundreds of times hotter than a pizza oven. The deeper you go into the sun's core, the hotter it gets, reaching up to 15 million degrees Celsius. This means we can't even get close to the sun let alone live on its surface. Even if we could invent a heat-proof suit to get close to the sun, it would still be nearly impossible to live there. The temperature is way too high, and the sun has no ground, no plants, or water. Since the sun is always shiny, it would be bright 24-7, making it really hard for us to sleep. You wouldn't be able to eat or drink anything either. Mm. Oh. Mm. So, is there anywhere in the universe where we can live? Up to now, besides Earth, scientists oh. still haven't found any planet that's truly suitable for us to live on. Oh. Mars is the most promising planet for possibly building a home for humans in the future. Wow. It's much colder than Earth, but some areas have ice, which means we could extract water. Earth is still the best place for us to live, <laughs> isn't it, Professor? That's all for now. Stay tuned for our next exploration. <laughs> <laughs> Why does the moon keep uh, following me? Uh. Do you huh? kids know why uh. the moon seems to follow us? Mm. Let knowledge click! <laughs> when we move, things that are closer to us appear to move faster. <laughs> like street lights or nearby cars. Mm. Objects that are farther away, like trees or mountains appear to move more slowly. This phenomenon is called the parallax effect. Now, let's talk about the distance between Earth and the Moon. The Moon is very far from the Earth, about 384,400 kilometers away. Oh. At this distance, your angle of view toward the Moon hardly changes, which make huh? it looks like it's staying still, no matter where uh, you go. So that means I can't outrun the moon, right? <laughs> huh? The moon orbits the Earth at the speed of about 3,683 kilometers per hour. Ah. If you imagine you and the moon are racing, there's no way you could keep up with that speed. Uh. Not only is the moon far away, but it's also really huge. It can make you feel like you can see the moon everywhere you go. I got it! <laughs> oh no! Monster! It's eating the sun! <laughs> That's a solar eclipse! Not a monster, but don't look at it with your bare eyes. Uh, why, Dr. Hoot? Do you want to know what it is? Let knowledge click! Usually, sunlight comes straight to Earth, 
But sometimes the moon moves in front and blocks the sun. That's a solar eclipse. It's like when I make shadows on the wall with a flashlight, right? Mm -hmm. That's right. <laughs> there are three types of solar eclipse. Total eclipse. Partial eclipse. Ring shape eclipse. Cone annular eclipse. Wow. So, what are these glasses for, Dr. Hood? On a normal day, if you happen to glance at the sun, your pupil gets tiny because the light is so bright. That helps protect your eyes. During a solar eclipse, the sun looks dim, so your pupils stay wide. It feels safe to look, but the sun's harmful rays are still there. Those rays can really hurt your eyes. It's like using a magnifying glass to burn paper. Your eyes can handle that. Huh? Oh! <laughs> wow! That's why you need these special glasses. So, what if we don't have these glasses? <gasps> you can use the pinhole projector. The sunlight goes through a tiny hole and shows the eclipse on the paper. You look at the paper, not at the sky. They block almost all the strong rays from the sun. We got it! Woofoo! Time for dinner! <laughs> it's not dinner time yet, Mommy! Mm -hmm. uh. <laughs> <laughs> I wish there were only days and not nights! Huh? Oh. Do you know why there's day and night? Let knowledge click! He took the sun's spot! Hmm. Huh? That isn't hmm. true, Wufu. The sun disappears at night because of how the earth rotates. Oh. <laughs> you see, the earth oh. is constantly rotating on its axis. Uh -huh. One full rotation takes 24 hours, which makes one whole day. When one half of the earth <laughs> faces the sun, it gets sunlight, and we call that daytime. The other half, hidden from the sun, is in darkness, and that's nighttime. Did you know there's a place on Earth where the sun doesn't set for weeks, even months? It happens in places near the North Pole or South Pole, like Norway, Sweden, Alaska, or Antarctica. I wish I could be there. It can actually be very tiring if there's only day or night. If there were no night, it would mean the sun was shining all day, all year long. That would make where we live extremely hot. Likewise, if there were no daytime, we would have to endure the cold all year round. Discover everything around us on Wolfu Explore Channel.